In the United States, we usually hear about Muslims in stories about conflict. That makes it easy to assume that all Muslims share a single set of beliefs and culture. In reality, the Muslims around Boston have roots in many cultures from around the world. And sharing that diversity with the larger community is the purpose of the second annual New England Muslim Festival. To tell us about the event is an organizer from the festival, Nicole Masalam. Uh, thank you very much for being with us, Nicole. Thank you for having me. First of all, talk about the, the reason why people are having this event. Well, mainly the, the biggest reason, I believe, is that people perceive Islam as this huge monolithic religion, when in fact it's not. It's just as diverse as any of the other religions um, that are here in America. So we have people from not just the so-called Middle East, you know, in the Gulf Arab states, but we also have Muslims from India, from Bangladesh, from Africa, from Mexico, from everywhere, every corner of the world. And, of course, cultures means uh, this is not always talking strictly about things in religious terms. I mean, you've got a lot of music that's lined up for this event, too, I imagine. Yes, we do. Um, what's great, we have uh, West African drummers who will be coming. We have some traditional dances, the dabka, which will be also performed. And, of course, our headline act, which will be Dean Squad. Maybe we can have a little clip to give people a, a sample of what it's like to hear and see Dean Squad in action. Mm -hmm. You can bring a friend, bring a friend From my people all around the globe It's time to purify your soul It don't matter if you're rich or no No, we doing it for the one love Tell me a little bit about the piece that's Ramadan Kareem I mean, it sounds like pop music But, you know, I'm sure there's more to it than that yeah, I think that's what's so great about this group and what I love so much about them is they're taking, you know, current hip hop culture for our youth and they're transcending it and showing how Islam and the principles of Islam apply to us all. So it's really getting the message out and it's fun, it's great to listen to and I have to admit I'll even, you know, shake it a bit. <laughs> now, now one of the other things, and, and I'm no expert on any of this, but, but when I look at things like, like Nasheed music from Morocco or the Dabka that you mentioned from Palestine, I see these people dancing around and I'm saying, wait a minute, that reminds me of something in the Balkans, uh, you know, the Moroccan music makes me think of Spain. And I guess you have all of these, it's not just about variety of Muslim cultures, we're talking about overlaps between Muslim, Christian and Jewish cultures too. Exactly, and I think if you go and speak to somebody from the art community, and by the way, we're going to have art exhibits as well, but anybody who comes from you know an artistic background, they can even verify that we have so much more in common than we do different. And art and music and dance and just plain human expression is a way to be able to share all of that. Uh, another feature is calligraphy. Mm -hmm. What's that, what, what are people going to be able to do with that? So calligraphy is the art of writing in the Arabic script, but making beautiful pictures with it. It's very expressive. Um, you know, it, it, it comes from a very strong history as well. It's very rich. And of course, people talk about that, that arabesque feature. So in other uh -huh. words, it, it's an aesthetic visual thing too, right? Yeah, and really that comes from the scientific part of Islam as well. In, in the height of some of the early uh, Islamic empires, we had you know, great universities. They contributed a lot to math and to science, and some of that was geometry. So when you take a look at some of the mosaic architecture and uh, artistic expression, that's all based off of a repeating pattern and really draws in from that geometrical history. This has been a news and we're talking with Nicole Masalam from the New England Muslim Festival. Uh, one of the other things that occurs to me, if, if somebody goes to this event, um, when they see Muslims, they're not all going to be the same. I mean, they're going to be from different parts. Of, I mean, talk about it because of different, you know, walks of life. Uh, I mean, talk mm -hmm. about that. Yeah, so, I mean, Islam is... Muslims around the world are just like Americans here at home. You know, we come from so many different backgrounds. I myself, even though I'm a convert, I'm an American, and I come from a very mixed heritage, Native American, Italian American, and that's how a lot of Muslims around the world are as well. We have, you know, Saudi Arabians, but we also have people from Egypt, people from Palestine, people from West Africa, from Bangladesh, 
from all over the world and they pull from all of these different cultures. And one of the beautiful things that we're seeing here is when they come here, now um, all that cultural expression is getting mixed and new things are happening here. Well, you're talking about your, your background, uh, you're, you're married to an Egyptian. I mean, uh -huh. what was it like for you making some of these discoveries? Uh, see, I've always been one of those people that I'm fascinated with the with culture and with the different beliefs of people. So for me, it's really been a wonderful journey, especially of self-discovery as I've walked down my own spiritual path, but even just the culture and most especially the food. We're going to have great food vendors there as well. <laughs> um, and believe me, I, I, I've tasted different kinds of Middle Eastern, Turkish, and, and again, you've got those overlaps with other kinds of countries' uh, food too. Right? Yeah, so we're going to have samosas, we're going to have Turkish food, we're going to have Mediterranean food, we're going to have food from everywhere. We should finally mention the, the location. This is going to be in Malden and exactly where? So it's going to be at the Cambridge Health Alliance off of Canal Street in Malden and it's a very good location. There's going to be a river. And it's, it's Sunday beautiful. from? Sunday from 12 to 6 p.m. Great. Thank you very much for being with us. Thank you. Nicole Masalam from the New England Muslim Festival.